Hey guys, welcome back to another video from the channel Learn From Basics. This is Joe here, and in today's video, we will be talking about syntax. Now, what is syntax, and why is it important to know about? Because I'll assure you, you'll come across the term syntax error many, many times while you could. Now, as I said, what is syntax? Well, how about we compare syntax to something in real life that occurs in languages? Because we all know that programming languages are just languages that help humans and computers establish a successful communication, with programming languages being the middle language. Now, I talked more about that in the first two videos of the series, which will be linked down in the description and in a card that pops up right now. Now, what, are syn what is syntax? Well, let's take English, for example. In English, we have something called grammar, don't we? Now, what does grammar do? Well, grammar just helps us uh, convey the meaning of a certain sentence better. And it helps us form our words. It helps us uh, tell the reader how, what, and how, what, and why something is happening. Like, for example, explanation mark conveys the emotion of a sentence. A question mark also conveys the emotion of a sentence. In, and in, a question mark is just basically in a question tone. Like, what is that? What are we supposed to, why are we supposed to do that? And an explanation mark would be something like, yes, we won. Something like that. Grammar uh, and word formation, which is also grammar, in English helps us convey a better, uh, a better meaning to the other person who is also using this language. So, for example, here's a sentence with grammar. I love to code. It's the best thing in the world. Now, what if I said that without any word, uh, without any word sense and without grammar, and I said it like this. Code, best, love, world, in, the. Does that make any sense? Well, you see that I used all of the words that I used in the previous sentence. But without, uh, without grammar and a good word understanding, and like placing the words in a good way, you cannot convey the message clearly. And that's why grammar is vital between in the language of English. Because as I said, the first sentence was way more clear than the second sentence. Just like that, in programming languages, there's also grammar. And since grammar is so important in programming languages, we don't actually call it grammar. Instead, we call it syntax. Now, syntax basically helps the computer understand some stuff that might be tricky for it. So we, uh, we basically add some signs that make reading certain sentences or code lines easier for the computer. And even us who are humans, we are smart enough to fill in some of the grammar mistakes made by our peers. But a computer isn't, and we learned that throughout the first two videos of this series. So that's why your syntax, your grammar in your code should be spot on, or else you'll get a syntax error. But don't worry, there's not that much syntax to memorize, and the more you code, the better you'll get. And if you're, if you're good at debugging, which we'll learn, fixing syntax errors will be easy. Now, what are some examples of syntax? Well, for example, if you want to, uh, if you want to tell the computer, hey, computer, I want to get the age of a user, the com you will have to declare in the syntax what, what type of data will you get whenever you get an input of an age. Because you're not going to get a word or a true or false or something else. You'll get a number. So you'll have to declare that in this input, you're going to be getting a number. And more like that. And you, like a full stop in some programming languages, you will always need to put a semicolon at the end. And that's what we're going to talk about now. There are actually two types of syntaxes. And actually, here's the definition of syntax. Syntax are a set of rules that determine how to phrase and write a particular sentence or phrase, just like in grammar, uh, but it applies for programming languages and has a different name. Now, yeah, so C uses syntax, every language uses syntax. But there are two types of syntaxes in programming languages. There's a strongly typed one, and there's a weakly typed one. Now, a strongly typed syntax is like the grammar that you'd use in order to send a, a message to your boss. So if you wanted to discuss an idea or uh, have him come to the office to discuss an idea, you'd say, uh, dear boss, this is your name. And then you would say, 
today I have got uh, today I got a brilliant idea, and I would I would like to discuss it over with you and the team. Please kindly tell me when you will be free so we can schedule a meeting. Kindly, and then you would just follow the normal grammar you would for a formal mail, and that's exactly uh exactly what happens in strongly typed syntax. In a strongly typed syntax. Everything that you type has to be correct. It's actually very strict in a strongly typed syntax. For example, you have to declare what type of data is going to go in the variable, which is basically just a container to store um, uh, store data. We'll learn about that later. You'll have to put a x. You have you have to put a semicolon at the end of each and every sentence, or else uh, or else you'll just there will be a syntax error. And there's many more strict, strict, strict rules in a strongly typed syntax. But in a weakly typed syntax, it would be like uh, getting an idea for a school project and sending an email to your friend. You'd say, hey, what's up? This is Jill. When are you free? Because I have an idea that I want to discuss. Come over to my house when you're free. That's not what you would write to your boss, but that is something that you'd write to your friend because it's an informal uh, email. It's an informal type of grammar. Like you can use abbreviations and etc. So in a weekly type syntax, there aren't as many strict rules. Sure, there are some strict rules like your spelling should be correct and um, all of the functions you'll call and all of the commands you'll write have to be correctly spelled. But that's just the uh, basic thing. In weekly type programming languages or programming languages that have weekly type syntax, their grammar or syntax is not that demanding. Just few rules and you're rarely going to get syntax errors. Now, you might be wondering, well, why can't every language be weakly typed? Wouldn't that just be easier? Well, there is a major con to weakly typed syntax. Because in weakly typed syntax, you have to add extra code to make sure that your computer nor knows there's an error happening when there's an error happening. For example, if you were to ask for an age, and then you would tell, so this is your program. You ask for the user's age, and you tell the user's uh, age, or, or you, you tell the year, when they turn 50. Now, or let's just do something simpler. You you ask a user for his age, his or her, her age, and then you return how old they'll be in 10 years. Now in a weekly typed syntax, like JavaScript, if you were to say, uh, okay, I gave you the input. And if the user were to give you the, give the input of, instead of the number, their age, they would say, Ha ha, just, you know, to test our program. And that's a word, right? So, whenever in your program you add 10 to the age, JavaScript wouldn't know, hey, he didn't give me a number. That means it's not his age. It's a sentence. It doesn't know that. You'll have to write extra five lines of code in order to tell that. Or also, it'll just add, uh, it'll just add ha ha and 10, making it ha ha 10. It just combines both of these words. That doesn't make sense, does it? So you have to add extra lines of code in order to tell the computer, hey, there's an error over here, stop the program. But in strongly typed syntax, you don't have to do that. In the strongly typed syntax, using one word, you can say, hey, whenever this input comes in, I want it to be a number. If it's not, then something is wrong and the user either is wrong or is messing around. So that's just one uh, one disadvantage of weekly type syntax you can't be very clear with it so you have to write extra code in order to make it very clear whereas in a strongly typed syntax you could you just use a couple of words to make make something clear for which in a weekly type syntax you'd have to write multiple lines of code so yeah so in strongly typed syntax you have to follow a lot of set of rules and you have to write your code in a certain way in order to run your code that's a, a downside now, you can't decide what type of syntax you want for a certain language. The creators decide that. So, yeah, those are basically the, the, the two types of syntax and what syntax is. Now, this is a big, uh, this is a really big concept. Not a big concept, but you'll need to know it as you'll get a lot of syntax errors. And if you know how to debug your program, fixing those will be easy too. As C is a strongly typed programming language. Now, thank you for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe so you know when the new uh, video of this course comes out. And also, be sure to check my OpenCV and Flutter course, as they I'm pretty sure you'll also like them. Link to both of them down in the description. 
and check out the two previous videos if you haven't. Like if you liked the video, comment down any uh, recommendations or questions you have. All useful links and tips will be down in the description. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.